Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Puppeteer Full Tutorial Series for Absolute Beginners. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to set up a mobile device and render it accordingly. A lot of times when you're automating, you will be required to run it on certain specific devices or a certain specific resolutions. After today's episode, you will be able to do so. Let's get started. This is part 14 of the series. If you have missed out on the first 13 parts, please make sure that you go through them in order to have continuity in your learning and mastering Puppeteer with me. Today we will learn how to set up mobile devices and a specific device and see how what are the different options available. How do you do it? Very, very important, especially when you are trying to automate in an enterprise setup. All right, so what are we going to learn? <coughs> we are going to do viewport. We are also going to learn how to import the uh, device and then maybe do a screenshot of it. All right, so these are the some of the things that we will do today. Let's get started. I'll create a file first. So 14.js and what we are going to do is first import Puppeteer. Go to Puppeteer spelling mistake okay so this is good and the next thing we'll do is in puppeteer puppeteer provides us a list of devices that we can use and for that you will write puppeteer dot devices oh sorry it's not earlier it used to be called devices i'll show you that also real quick and if you do that it will tell you that it's deprecated see devices is deprecated so what do you do with that so instead of this you would do known devices right that's what you'll do and then mention what type of let's say I'm trying to do for iPhone 14 14 or you can see the list of devices that are supported it's still um, iPhone 13 so you can select one of them and then write your logic as always you will write the async you can either write this or you can execute it right away this is another way of writing the same code or you can write a method and still do that so I'm going to say await puppeteer dot launch I'm going to make it headless false and then we are going to create a new page browser new page and then I'm going to say await page dot emulate and what are we trying to emulate we are trying to emulate device right okay so this is a device that we want to emulate which is iPhone 13 Pro Max and then we will say await page dot go to and give the URL that you want to to navigate to and then you will say await browser dot close All right so simple here today the whole point I want to show you is how do you use the setup of different devices okay a lot of times people are uh, if you're on an older version probably you would be used to writing puppeteer dot devices okay but remember that 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 has got deprecated so it won't work anymore <coughs> instead you will have to use puppeteer dot known devices okay there is a uh, class which supports that so use known devices and that's what you can do you can do a wait page dot screenshot and save it by the name um, iPhone 13 dot PNG and let's try to run it and see this is ep episode 14 so I'm going to say node episode hyphen 14 dot js let it open up it will open up <coughs> and see it it has set for that particular mode it took the screenshot and it closed it let's check out the iphone 13 dot png here so see it has taken the screenshot for an iphone 13 mode how it would look right so very very useful tool especially when you're trying to simulate and test your application on various devices this is one of the device I showed you in the next episode I'll show you how do you create an array of it how do you list 10 devices in one go and 
handle all of that in one go right so you can loop it and add those devices and do much much more so that I'm going to show you in the next episode today's episode we focused only on one device and we were able to generate a screenshot in that particular mode right so very interesting make sure that you keep learning because these are all the new methods you are learning with each episode and I'm sure by the time we reach 20 25 episodes you will be well off and you would be able to master puppeteer end to end thank you so much for joining in this episode in the next episode we will write new code to simulate for 10 mobile devices in one go thank you so much for joining see you in the next episode don't miss that